In this episode of Sailing Dark Angel, we sail to Big Major's Key where we have some anchoring issues between Big and Little Major's Keys. We need to wait for slack tide because we can't get through the cut on only one engine. A nurse shark shows me around the anchorage and it's time to fix that pesky port engine. If you like our videos, please smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell. It's free for you and really helps our channel. Variable winds today, so we're motor sailing to get up to Staniel Key to go hang out with some friends. Really not a fan of motor sailing, but sometimes you gotta get where you gotta get. There's our jib on a beam reach, just no kind of hanging there. there is two knots of wind. Two whole knots. Uh -huh. So we're anchored around Staniel Key and I decided to go and check the anchor as we normally do. See, got my fins out and I went and checked it and it's over here, over in this area right over in here and I go and find that I can dive down and literally pick my whole anchor up. So it looks like we're going to have to re-anchor somewhere else which is a bummer because it took a little while to find this anchorage in the first place. And it's not a bad anchorage. We actually started to fill up over here. So just got to find some sand and get her dug in. There we go. First she does the circle check for sharks. The flukes are all lid. The bar is exposed. What? What?
Well, today is truly a day of days. Why uh, is it a day of days, Captain Dave? Today we're going to try and get the exhaust elbow off the engine and see if that's plugged. Because if that's plugged, then that could be what's causing all of our issues with black smoke, no power, can't uh, rev the engine, all that kind of stuff. If you've got no place for exhaust to go, engine don't go. So uh, I'm going to go rip and tear into that. What are you going to do, Lise? I am going to hold down the cockpit and make sure that the cockpit is doing okay because I was kind of concerned I was like it could just take off at any moment Lisa's but... gonna hang out and enjoy yourself I'm gonna go and rip into the engine I gotta get you to take a diesel course yeah I'll get right on that so the port engine has completely given up the ghost it is not working it's starting there's you can't rev it up there's no power and it just belches black smoke um, I've changed out filters and so forth I think we're at the point now where I've got to take the exhaust elbow off and find out if the exhaust elbow is plugged up. That would be preventing the exhaust from leaving the engine, which would of course prevent it from having any power or being able to operate. And we really need two engines to anchor and to get through cuts. Uh, this boat does not have enough power with only one engine to get through a cut, especially against current, which severely limits your ability to travel and it, it messes bad with your timing to get in and out of cuts. You, you can try and time them, but if anything goes wrong and your timing's off, now suddenly you're stranded outside a cut, and that, that can be a real bad thing. So I'm going to try and get this fixed. I, I don't have a spare gasket. I do have um, gasket material. I'm going to try and make one, but temporarily until I can replace this. So here's what we're looking at. This is the exhaust elbow here. This is the rubber hose that mixes water into it. And then it carries on down there and I got to take this electrical box off first and get rid of it get it out of the way so that I can uh, get at the nuts on there because I can't get at them like everything when you're working on a boat you just can't get at it all right so I've taken the rubber boot off taken this this rubber boot off I've moved the electrical box out of the way it's sitting there and here you can see these pipettes, I can't tell if, if this is plugged up or not, but now I've got to get the elbow off, and the elbow is going to be fun. The uh, problem with getting at these nuts, the top ones, is that they are so close to the housing that I can't turn a wrench without it forcing the wrench off, and I can't get a socket in there because there's not enough depth. So uh, it's a little bit of a challenge to get these half-inch nuts off, but we're going to give it a try. And we have found the culprit. This exhaust elbow... Couldn't be more plugged solid. We gotta get all this out and it is rock hard. That's gonna be a treat. All right, so I finally got the elbow out. Pretty heavy, it's cast. Um, you can see it is solid caked in here. Um, you can't even tell if it's corroded because it's just caked solid. This thing is blocked, as blocked as it can be. So we're gonna put it in here. We don't have hydrochloric acid, but we have muriatic acid, so we're going to try that out, see if it dissolves that stuff out. And if so, we'll put her back together. If not, we've got to find some hydrochloric acid, and then eventually I need to buy a couple of exhaust elbows and stuff like that, and I'll do that when I get back to the States. Also don't want to splash on it. That looks successful. Wow, that's happening way faster than I thought. All right, we've let the elbow sit overnight in a solution to clean it up. And it's still not clean by any stretch of the imagination, but you can see light through it now. It's still clogged, but it's not clogged solid. So next I'm gonna have a look at the heat exchanger and make sure it's not clogged up. And then we're gonna put this all back together and see just how badly I wrecked it. So we're down to the process of, of putting back the elbow. Oh. 
You already stamped it on there. Well, now I gotta put the band clamps on it and right. then put it back over here. But first I have to put the rubber boot back on it because apparently it's almost impossible to do after. One that's a big problem is the bracket that reattaches the electrical box. Because I had to bend it in shape. Just to get it out? Uh, oh. Eventually there's an end on this stud. Side of working and staying the key is the rock in the hole. Sock it on it. It's just no room. It's another boat. I think that's just a dinghy. No, it's just a dinghy. Not so bad. It is strange that people are here, you know, on vacation and just enjoying themselves. Here we are, <laughs> no. busting our butts. We're not vacationers, we're cruisers, which is the definition of cruising, is to 
repair your boat in Zadok, Texas. Oh, definitely doing that. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't seem like much. It's only four bolts, but where they're situated. Accessibility. So the iffy part is that I had to reuse the gasket, which is, you know, we'll never reuse the gasket. But we don't have enough gasket. Happened? This battery cable, it was up against this bracket. Oh, you through it. Oh, so we're gonna wrap some tape around that. Are we ready for the test? Not that ready. So now we're about to do the test to see if this engine works. Okay, tur turning it on. Nothing. So the electrical problem is fixed. Turns out we had a broken connector. I have zip tied it back together again, and it's uh, hopefully it'll stay in place. It's just the retaining ring was snapped on it, so I put a zip tie around the retaining ring. Um, the real problem is the water leak that I was getting, I thought might have been the gasket that I had to reuse, and maybe some of it is, but a big part of it is the bottom of this boot had been torn in half by the clamp. It was cut right through, and I didn't realize it before I put it back on. So no matter how much I tightened it, we just get more and more water because the clamp, of course, was cutting its way through. So I've wrapped some waterproof tape around it and stuff to see if it'll get us um, get us going temporarily. I know this is not the answer and it's not a long-term solution, but if it'll last us a month, then we can be back in the U.S. and we can get another boot. Uh, when I order the new um, elbows, because definitely going to put new exhaust elbows on. These ones are very corroded. I think I might put another wrap of tape around it, just more the merrier. It's going to be hard to get back on there, but uh, if it doesn't leak, it'll be worth it. All right, test number two. Test number two. I'll wait for that to heat up. Success! That sounds good. There it is. Oh yeah, she's moving. Yep. There we go. 